Hey everybody. So someone posed a question on how they might get a nice rounded top to their rocket ship. I mean, what we're going for is that sort of 50s retro style um, Jetson sort of uh, rocket ship. And uh, where to begin to get that sort of rounded thing, whether to use NURBS or you start with a cube. Um, honestly, what I'd probably do would be start with a NURBS curve. All right, there's a couple of different types. You can choose whichever one you want. We can do it with a CV curve. EP curves are basically the same thing. Bezier, um, if you like Bezier tools and handles, um, that might work nice for you. Maybe we'll try that. Um, let's just grab a Bezier tool. Now, when you do this, we're gonna do a revolve. So it's gonna be along that center line. So uh, right now I'm in an orthogonal um, side view, okay, which will work out great. And uh, let's say we were going to do something like that, you know, just that kind of rounded. All right. So maybe what we'll do is we'll hold down an X over here and we'll just tap that first line there. Uh, maybe we'll come out sort of like this, something like that. And we can change these afterwards if we don't like them. Maybe something like this. I already don't like that line. And that last one, I'm probably going to put it um, on a grid point and snap it there. We'll do that. So let me just go back in and let's play with these curve points. Tap W for move. Maybe something like that. Grab this guy. Bring it out. Grab its handle. You know, something like that maybe. All right. And this is coming down like that. If we wanted to, we could always... Uh, bring this in a little bit or square it a bit more. Um, right now you see it's following that that um, the local orientation of this curve handle but um, or the uh, uh, the average normal which is along the edge. Um, but what I can do is I can put this in world view and I can move this out just a little bit so we get that kind of kind of bulbous sort of a look like that just a little bit something like that and that goes right down to there okay so we'll click off of this all right so that's our eh, I'm not loving that let's just do this maybe like take this up just a little bit like that I think that's better that'll work okay so now we have a um, profile curve for a spline so we can revolve this what we need to do is drop I'm already there but down into surfaces and we want to go to surfaces and the option we want is up here revolve Go into the options menu for a second, and I'm going to hit reset. Okay. And reset is going to loft it or revolve it on the y axis 360 degrees and give me eight segments. Uh, this is the default, so let's just give this a whirl and see what we get. Okay. So if we do that and tap three, let's go back to perspective mode. Um, we have a nice start. You know, that could work. So we know at least the shape is sort of in the vein of what we might want. Um, I don't really want NURBS to work with. I could convert them or I could just build what I want from the beginning. So let's try that. Um, let's go back to surfaces. Let's go back to the revolve options. Everything else the same. We're just going to drop down to the output geometry section. I'm going to go to polygons. And just as a formula, just to give you um, uh, kind of a consistent uh, quad um, build, what we can do is we can tap quads. Count's not going to make a lot of sense because you, I have no idea how many polygons I want. If you're doing something in games or you had a specific count you needed to hit, this would be a great option. Our option probably um, of general is going to be better. This way it's going to just look at our curve, figure out how much curvature and how many polygons it's going to need. Um, what we're going to do is pick the option here on the bottom. All right? which is going to be um, number of uh, 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 U, U uh, spans that we're going to need per on the U and the V, okay? So we can select that. Uh, three might be a bit much. This is what's default, so we'll try that, and we'll just take a peek at it. Um, let's hit Apply. And as I thought, that's a bit much. It smooths really nicely. So we look at that and we're like, hey, that's pretty smooth. I'll buy that for a dollar. Um, but it's too much geometry. So if we wanted to put stuff, if we were looking to start putting in a lot of detail, maybe we want to live with this, 
but we can get a really smooth one with less. So let's grab this again and let's try this. Let's take this down to two by, let's see what two by three looks like. Better, okay. So we can tap this, smooth it, and we get a smooth end again. So that's not bad. Maybe we could push it even further. Maybe we could pull out some of these, okay? So let's try this. Let's go two by two. Grab this and hit apply. Okay, a lot less geometry to begin with. Tap three, and we can smooth that. And actually what we can do here in attributes is we can look at what a smooth version of this would look like at a higher interval. So if we take this up to three, um, we can see that we're um, really gonna get a nice smooth surface um, with geometry in there. Um, and again, at this point, if we wanted to do something like a capsule door, uh, we could go into faces, you know, grab some faces. Uh, let's see, eh, we could detach these if we want, I guess. Um, we could detach these, we could just extrude these. Um, let's just say that. Let's say we were going to do something like extrude these, okay? You could see where you could start to get some interesting detail. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and give a little bit of an offset in here. Get down. Fact, let's do this so we can see what we're getting. I'm going to tap G. And then I'm going to go with thickness. I'm going to hold down control and push this in just a little bit to get an edge loop. Tap G again. Hold down thickness. Push this in further. Okay. Tap G again. Hold this down. This time what I'm going to do is go for the offset in. Tap G one more time. Hold down control and let's bring that thickness up slightly above the surface. That's a bit too much. Something like this. And G one last time so we get the edge loop. And we will just give it a little bit of extra thickness, something like that. Alrighty. So we did there, sort of model that into it. And if we smooth this out, we get this sort of hatch looking thing. Okay. Which could be neat. You could separate that all together. Uh, what you might want to do um, is introduce another line of uh, geometry up here, kind of smooth this out. We could do that. We could go into. Um, Shift Control, Insert Edge Loops, but I want to do something in Options. Um, in Options, what I'd like to do is make sure Insert with Edge Flow is turned on. And what I can do with that is, let's say, introduce something in here. And you'll notice what it does is, as opposed to simply, and I'll turn it off so you can see what the difference is. If I insert an edge loop here, it inserts the edge loop, but it doesn't actually continue that sense of curvature going around the object it just inserts it. Um, if I insert with edge loops, in this case, and I put something like that there, you get this nice rounded continuation of the geometry all the way around. Okay, which is nice. So we'll hit select to move off, and there you go. Now that might be the beginning of what you were looking to do. Alrighty, just something to think about. Alrighty, um, anyway, hopefully that was helpful, and um, have a good day.